My name is Osmani Chauvin Elias. My saxophone conmigo. He's from Cuba, I brought my saxophone, my aspirations as a musician, and my wife. My name is Harry Pickens. I'm a musician and a community leader and an activist. Since I was a boy, it was always my dream to play in the U.S. And I wanted to also play jazz. Yes. I had heard a lot about Osmani. He was actually homeless when he first arrived in the U.S. and then got support from KRM. Um, I heard he was a great saxophone player. Adrian told me, there's this really amazing Cuban um, saxophonist, his name is Osmani, you know. And I think she said he's somewhere in the building practicing his saxophone. So I followed the sound and introduced myself. The first time I played with Harry, I just know that me and him made a connection. I wasn't worried about the people, I wasn't looking out, it was just me and him connecting through music. I think sometimes, you know, refugees and immigrants can get discounted because they don't have the language skills. Some of them may not have been able to access education as, as other people have. But then when they hear them perform, you're not really worried about someone's economic background. You're not really worried about where they're from. It's an affirmation that underneath the illusion of our separateness, we are one. I myself have caught myself paying attention to other types of music and I believe that what me and Harry are doing can also influence other people from other cultures. We've played a lot more notes together than we've exchanged words together, but it doesn't really matter. The relationship with Osmani reinforces the realization that underneath all the artificial limits and labels of class, culture, creed, ethnicity, race, age, whatever, there's common ground.